What if I told you you didn't have to buy a Canon M50, a Sony ZV-1, or a Sony A6400, but there's actually these five awesome cameras that nobody on YouTube is talking about? Well, that's why I'm gonna break it down, the pros and cons and the best features of each camera, so let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube strategy videos, as well as best cameras for YouTube videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, the first camera I wanna talk about is the Canon M200. This is a Canon mirrorless camera, just like the M50, and it actually has the same insides as the M50, meaning it does shoot 4K, uh, but it you know crops in and it loses its autofocus abilities. But the 1080 video out of it is incredible. It has a flip up screen as opposed to an articulating flip out screen. But one con of this camera is that it doesn't have a mic jack input. So if you wanted to put a shotgun mic on it, you can't plug it in. However, Nolan did make a video on how to record audio the best way if you don't have a mic jack input. You can check out that video after this video or we'll post links down in the description below. However, a con to this as opposed to the Canon M50 is that the Canon M200 has a clean HDMI out. Meaning if you use this camera for live streaming or Zoom calls, you can actually have a clean image going through your computer or laptop, which not too many Canons actually have. So it's actually cool that it has that. And because it doesn't have an audio jack input, if you wanted to use it for live streaming, chances are you're gonna use a USB mic to plug into your computer. So maybe you wanna get this camera for live streaming. And the M200 also has the same lens mount as the Canon M50, so you can get the Sigma 16 millimeter lens to go with it. Uh, but nonetheless, this camera comes in at around $550 brand new, which might be a little bit pricey for some, but you can definitely shop used for eBay. All these cameras that I'm talking about, I would actually look for the used versions because you can save a lot more when you go that route. The next awesome camera I wanna talk about is the Sony A5100. Now this camera came out way back in 2014. However, it's still an awesome camera. It actually has the same uh, lens mount that all the Sony cameras have today. So you can get a great lens for it. And just like the M200, like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have a mic jack input. However, it does have also a clean HDMI. And Heather on the Think Media team has been using this as her live stream camera. And as you can see, the quality is pretty strong. And I think this is kind of like a little uh, secret and I don't know if it's a real thing, but when you use a 1080p camera to live stream, a lot of the times it might look better than a 4K camera because you can't live stream in 4K quite yet. But if you drop down from 4K to 1080 on a new Sony, you actually lose a lot of image quality. And so I think for some reason, this is kind of weird, but you get really great picture out of a Sony A5100. And because it came out in 2014, obviously the price is all over the place, but you can probably snag one for around 350 or 400 bucks, or maybe even less on like OfferUp or eBay. And we'll post links to everything down in the description below. But what I love about this camera is that it's really small and it has interchangeable lenses. It's really cool combo to be able to upgrade the lens as you need, as well as uh, keep it as small as you need it if you're using it to vlog and things like that. That's what I would say the M200 and the A5100 is best for. They're both great cameras to use for either live streaming and or vlogging because they're small and they both have clean HDMIs. Now, if you're getting value in this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And I just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by our Think Masterclass. This is our one hour free class that you can take and learn about how to grow and create a part-time or full-time income using YouTube, just sharing your passion and your story. If you wanna check that out, you can go to thinkmasterclass.com and that is a free one hour class you don't wanna to miss to grow on YouTube. But let's get into the next camera and that is the Canon SL3. Now what's crazy about the SL3 is that it literally is the exact same thing as the Canon M50, other than the fact it, that it's not mirrorless. It's a DSLR, but as far as the specs go, it's exactly the same. It has a mic jack input, it has 1080 and 4K, but that 4K is kind of flawed because of the crop factor and the loss of autofocus there. But nonetheless, the 1080 picture quality is amazing. However, the actual plus side it has on top of the Canon M50 is that it has a clean HDMI. Again, if you wanted to live stream, this is a great camera to live stream with because you'll get a clean feed into your computer or laptop. But I know I don't have to belabor the point on how the SL3 looks like and all the other things. And just know that it is a good compact DSLR camera. It's actually, I believe the smallest DSLR camera and used, you can find it for around 400 to $450. Definitely check out OfferUp and eBay to get the best prices on used models of these cameras. But nonetheless, check out the Canon SL3 
awesome camera for YouTube. So all the cameras that I've talked to up to this point could be found for under $500, and that's to include the kit lens, the lens that would come with the camera if you're definitely looking for deals. But the next two cameras are a little bit more pricey, however, give you a lot more features. And the fourth awesome camera that nobody is talking about is the Sony A6100. Now the Sony A6100 comes in at around $850 to include the kit lens, which I think is a great price point for a reliable 4K camera. The image quality out of the A6100 will be the same that you're getting out of the A6400 and the A6600. And so that's really cool to know that that's the case with this camera. However, some of the shortcomings might be in regards to not being able to use a picture profile. So if you wanted to get into color grading and shooting kind of like flat video, you can't really do that with this camera. But the image straight out of camera looks A-OK. -okay. And I think the image coming out of any of these cameras that I'm talking about in this video are A-OK. -okay. You don't have to worry about color grading. But another shortcoming coming might be that it has limited custom buttons. It's kind of just a simpler version of the Sony a6400. And so there are some features you're missing out. I do think it's awesome because it's the only camera in this video that has unlimited recording, which is good to know. So if you have a power adapter and a big enough memory card, you can use this camera to shoot as long as you need it to. But nobody really knew about this camera because the Sony a6400 came out around January, February of 2019. And then August of 2019, did they release the a6400. And so you can shop used still and save a little bit of money to do so. But nonetheless, this is the cheapest out of the three cameras, but give you the essentially the same quality as the three cameras. So that is the Sony a6100. Now the fifth awesome camera that nobody's talking about for YouTube is the Canon M6 Mark II. This camera came out in September of 2019. It does retail for $1099, which I think is on the pricier point, but you could definitely find it on eBay and offer up for $750, $850 with the kit lens. Um, but this camera is literally what the M50 Mark II should have been. This camera shoots in 4K, uncropped, great autofocus in 4K, super crispy, and it also has great photography capabilities because it has higher resolution. But unlike the M50, it doesn't have a flip out articulating screen. It has like the M200's flip up screen. And so if you wanted to put a mic on the camera, you would just need a, a little accessory to work around that. But literally nobody thinks about this camera. And honestly, the image quality out of the Canon M6 Mark II is incredible. And I think what's so cool about Canon cameras, and you might find this in your discovery of finding a camera, is that Canons have incredible colors, like the way they make your skin look, the way they just interpret colors just seems to be a lot more superior than other camera brands as of late. Uh, but the Canon M6 Mark II is literally what the Canon M50 Mark II should be. You know, what's funny is I made a review on the Canon M50 Mark II, but the reality is I was like, it's already released. Like the Canon M50 Mark II is the M6 Mark II, and it also has a clean HDMI. So if you wanted to use this camera to live stream, you're gonna get a clean feed. I literally can't think of a bad thing about the M6 Mark II, unless it really is if you just wanted that articulating screen, it doesn't have it. But as far as like, getting this camera with maybe the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, you'll literally have one of the crispiest YouTube setups. And let me know down in the comments below what you think. I think these are both incredible 4K cameras with great autofocus, great image straight out of camera, so you don't have to worry about color grading and things like that. But I'd like to know your opinions down in the comments below. And let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see certain camera comparison videos, because we have a ton of them on this channel and we like making them. And if you actually wanna see another camera comparison video, click or tap the screen or check out another video from Think Media. And I can't wait to see you in a future one. Peace. Okay.